Hi guys, um, this is Emilio here. I'm, I'm in, th in this video, I'm, I'm going to show you how to uh, post-produce a Milky Way um, photo using Astro Panel 3.2. Okay, so here we're starting with this picture of the Milky Way, and um, we're going to use first the automatic um, features of this panel, which you can find in the Smart Tab. Okay, so in the automatic, um, automatic, uh, um, you can find underexposure and overexposure. Underexposure um, deals automatically with pictures which start uh, underexposed, and the overexposure uh, button deals with pictures that start as overexposed. Of course, then you need to, after having used this um, feature, you can um, use a curves level adjustment to um, um, reduce the luminosity of your final picture. Okay, so what does this automatic feature do? Well, it's the, its main purpose is to extract as much signal from the picture as it can with just one click and it only deals with the signal it does not deal with the color the color is done separately and it can be done at the user's will okay so now let's uh, let's start um, using this panel and um, the first thing you want to do is look at your histogram right up here and if you see that you the curve in your histogram is on the left the image is underexposed so what you want to do is you want to use the underexposure feature of your image so let's do that so you can see that um, the panel is working its magic and uh, it's doing a number of things so for instance it's applying con contrast it's stretching the image as you can see here uh, what it has done here it has brought the um, luminosity of your of your image up it has um, contrasted the nucleus of our galaxy uh, yeah so it has boosted um, the details in the image now what you want to do is you want to create a curves adjustment layer just like so to bring down the exposure of your image slightly just like this okay and now we're done once we're done with this what you want to do is you want to do merge visible so that you end up with just one picture one level here again now what we want to do here we can see that the the colors here are a bit off so we want to work with the color balance and in particular we want to use the feature called selective color milky way what this does is corrects automatically the colors in our picture so let's let's click it and what you see is that it has made the picture more blue it has taken away a bit of the dominance you know like the magenta and the other colors and now what you have is a fully corrected picture um, with the nucleus very very visible now if this doesn't work then you can also use the color boost features here um, this comments work slightly differently from the ones we just used here because uh, they work in the LAB color space and you should only use them if your picture is slightly desaturated okay now here uh, what what we have under the color balance is a few more comments such as SCD this you should use when you're dealing with uh, deep sky images this is not the case here and then these, are, these three other buttons deal with the warmness the temperature of the color in the image so for instance if we don't like the, um, the look of this image and we want it cooler 
then um, you press on this button CC and what it does it does cool down the picture for instance if you don't like this but you want a more neutral color you can go back here by clicking this arrow and then you can go for color neutral and here you have a more neutral image or if you want a warmer color then you just go for CW there we go so it's a matter of preference of course everyone sees uh, colors in different ways so here you go okay so now um, we want to deal with the colors in the pictures and in the picture and in particular we want to deal with the hue, saturation and the luminance part so this um, for this we're going to use the um, camera raw filter um, of Photoshop what we do is we go to filter camera raw filter and the image is up right here so now to deal with the use saturation and luminance what you do is you click right up here which where it says HSL adjustments and what we want to do is we want to correct all the um, casts that um, are present in the sky so for instance as you can see the sky is not perfectly blue but it has got some sort of magenta cast to it so um, especially up here at the top and up here so what we're gonna what we're going to do is we go on the purples and we drag it down until we see that the sky is slightly more on the blue side then what we do is we look at the nucleus so the nucleus in general should be slightly more yellow and um, we want to get rid of the air glow that is present in the atmosphere which gives you a green cast so what we're going to do is we need to transform the green into yellows right and how we how we do that is we go into greens and we drag this down to yellow and you see that down here the the greenness has gone and it has become a bit more yellow which is more natural um, of course then uh, we want to transform the yellows as well up here in the nucleus and what we do is we drag this down and make it a bit redder but then we want to also look at the oranges now the oranges have become a bit more on the red side so we, what we're going to do is we drag this one up slightly and we are done so now let's click OK and we're back in Photoshop so now what we want to do is you want to work with the tools here so here you have um, the options to create um, luminosity masks for the shadows the midtones and the, the highlights and also you can create color masks and here you have red yellow magenta green cyan and blue so here let's work a bit with the um, with the luminosity masks in particular let me first say that uh, these luminosity masks are more immediate ones um, if you want to go and have more control over your luminosity masks you can go into the tools tab here and you have more features but uh, let's not go into there for now let's just keep this simple so we have the shadows the mid-tones and the highlights and again here we have the uh, color masks on the left hand side here you have red yellow and magenta these deal with the warmer tones of the image while the green the cyan and the blue deal with the colder colors and uh, if you want to work um, on these on these colors then um, go ahead and do it okay so now let's work on the colors of the nucleus and in particular we want to deal with the red the red tones the warmer tones so what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, the red channel and to do that we're going to click on the R here what it does it creates a background copy with a mask now we go on to image 
adjustments and then hue saturation and what we're going to do is we want to saturate this part a little bit so we go on to saturation and we drag the slider up ever so slightly right about here should work maybe more maybe more and you know you can be you can go as wild as you like really because it's it's very um, it's to your liking essentially and let's click on OK and we're done with this now again as you can see if let's go back and forth and you can see what it has done on the nucleus you can see that these parts here are more saturated and more visible kind of thing against the, the the blue sky and let's go another before and after there you go now again what we want to do is we want to merge visible and we end up with one layer once again of course this um this um um, what we've done here with the red channel you can do it with all the other channels so with the yellow the magentas and so on and so forth depending on uh, the image that you have um, that you're working on now um, let's try and work a little bit on the details of this image in particular we're going to use the boost 3 image um, this is a very similar uh, it works very similarly to the uh, precision boost um, feature present in the master tab. Master tab. Um, however, this is, of course, a much quicker way. Now, how it works is first we click on Boost Three, and it creates a background copy which has been sharpened. Now, with a brush, which we can select the size. A white brush then we gently go over the nucleus and you can see the detail that is bringing out of course here I'm doing it rough roughly just to show you but you can um, work much um, in greater detail and uh, let's let me show you the before and the after and you can see um, what how much signal has come out of this picture already with this feature okay of course if this picture uh, if this uh, brush does not work and you want to um, um, work with a smaller brush or a bigger brush depending on your image then uh, you can double click on your um, mask and you get here you can work with the feather and the density of of your um, of your mask and what it does is essentially it makes this the passage between high amount of detail and those without so you can make um, a smoother transition between the areas with more detail and those with less detail okay so now let's go ahead and click here this is about right for now and okay again we go right click and merge visible there we go so now we go on the fine tuning part and we're almost close to the final image what we what we look at is the fine tuning tab of course here you have um, a few options such as contrast of course what it does it adds contrast to the image it you have dodging dodging and burning then you can add an Orton effect and a glow effect okay so now let's uh, add a bit more contrast to this um, picture and what we're going to do is let's click on contrast and that's it so now uh, as you can see um, this picture is very contrasted but we don't want that okay we want to pack this down a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to act on this via the opacity slider back here 
and we can drag this down and usually you should be gentle with this but around 25 percent and again leave it like this then of course you want to work with a single layer so let's right click and merge visible and we are done now if you want to add an Orton effect or a glow effect um, you can click on the buttons here let for me I, I prefer using a glow effect so let me click here and again you have to work um, with the opacity layer and uh, this is too strong for me so what I want to do is bring this down a little bit maybe around 20% and we are almost done with this and once we do merge visible we're done of course if you realize that you have some light pollution just like here in this corner of the image what you can do is uh, you can uh, go on filter camera raw and with a gradient you can uh, drag this up slightly like this make the transition smoother and that drag the exposure just a touch maybe like this okay and we are done and yes so that's the final image and as you can see we post produced an image uh, in a just a um, few clicks and we can see here what we started with this is the first image and that's the final image of course if you want more information you uh, when you once you buy the panel um, in the pack you'll get a user manual and in there you'll get a more you get more um, a more detailed overview with um, the, the explanation on all the features of the panel and um, you can also find some um, tutorials on how to post produce Milky Way images as well as deep sky images um, to buy the panel you can go on astropanel.it uh, and yes we'll take it from there see you guys